A real fixture in the Rutland community will close its doors for good Sunday after 75 years of business. Seward family restaurant owners are looking to retire. NBC5's John Hawks paid a visit to see what the restaurant's closure means to the community. Seward Family Restaurant, run by Tom Seward and his wife, originally opened in 1947 by his father. It started as a dairy and milk bottling plant, and then just ice cream, and has evolved into what it is today. When my dad built the restaurant out here, there were no buildings. He was, they said, this is Seward's Folly. He's building it way out there in the boonies. The owners felt like it was time to retire. I've had some health issues, and my wife is involved here too. We're both in our mid-70s. Probably the last couple of months, we decided that we were going to do something. And we decided to set a date, and this was the Sunday's the day. Tom is a hardworking man. He works from sunup to sundown and has for the last 60 years. He deserves retirement, and we'll all miss him. The restaurant has such a deep-seated history in the Rutland community. When we first came, we used to share a milkshake <laughs> or a banana split. But then we, as it went on, we ordered our, our lunches, our dinners. 87-year-old Alfred Connors has been a regular since he got his driver's license. He and his wife, a girlfriend at the time, would come after her basketball games to get ice cream. A lot of times the whole team would be up here and uh, having pig's dinners, maybe, and uh, a lot of good ice cream dishes. And uh, it, was, it was fun. It was part of growing up. Tom Hooker's favorite memory also involves their famous ice cream dish. I think it was trying to eat a pig's dinner. <laughs> it was an ice cream much bigger than what I'm looking at today. It was, I don't know, I had like five scoops of ice cream with a banana and all kinds of toppings. It was famous for their pig's dinners in, in here. Many customers who come in order the same thing every time and have wonderful things to say about the food and service. I always had excellent food. Never had a bad meal in 60 some odd years. I've been coming here, so sad to see that you know, go away. Gonna miss it because I used to like I like hanging out here with with people. That's how you meet friends. Met a lot of few friends here. The restaurant is as busy as ever, with people stopping in to get their final meal. I had a lady come in yesterday. She just got back into town. She's been gone for 10 years. She came here to get her last shake. So that's what it means to people. The weight of the closure and what it means to the community is not lost on Seward. Well, I miss seeing the people, you know, and the interaction with the customers. In Rutland, John Hawks, NBC5 News. He did have the best milkshakes. Congratulations on retirement. Now